Raising a dog who is shy or fearful can make it difficult to go to new places or experience new things together. But worry not. Building confidence in dogs takes some work, but it can make new experiences less daunting. So how do you build confidence in a dog? Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique guide is in the description below. First, determine if they are shy or fearful by looking at your dog's body language, says Dr. Patrick Malise. A board-certified veterinary behaviorist at Veterinary Behavior Consultants in San Diego, California. It's most obvious when a dog is showing body signals of fear, tuck tail, ears back, avoidance, shaking, trying to hide, things that most people clearly would recognize as an avoidance and a fear behavior. Additional signs you should look out for include panting, lip licking, shaking off, dropping his tail and maybe even crouching. Fearful dogs may also check in often with their owners or, if they are extremely afraid, may become aggressive to make the source of their fear go away, says Dr. Liz Stello, a behavior clinician at the UC Davis Veterinary Medical Teaching Hospital in Davis, California. From allowing your dog to observe other dogs, to putting your pooch in a new environment the right way. Here are six ways to help boost your dog's confidence. 1. Try exposure management. This tip sounds fancy, but it's not. You're essentially finding ways to rewire your dog's brain to associate something they were once afraid of with something they love. Let's say your dog is afraid of skateboards. Try placing a skateboard on the floor with dog treats sprinkled on it. The dog's going to investigate and realize, oh, wait a minute, this could be a moving tray with treats. In effect, you're trying to help change the dog's opinion of this. Once the dog is comfortable with the stationary skateboard, try moving it one inch with the treats on top. Once the dog is no longer fearful of the skateboard moving slightly, start moving it more until mimics what they might find in real life, a moving skateboard with someone on it. This technique reprograms the dog's response through a combination of managing the exposure then reintroducing the stimulus in a controlled manner and associating it with positive experiences, like food. The treat needs to be high value consider small pieces of cheese or boiled hot dog. 2. Find an environment where the dog can be successful. Sitting in your home and dwelling on what might go wrong isn't beneficial for your mind, and the same goes for your dog. If you can find a way to put them in a new environment where they feel more excited or happy, go for it. Go hiking in places where the dog is spending more time in a really fascinating environment with all sorts of smells and sights. The dog will think, I'm way too busy investigating this cool hike than I am worried about things going bump in the night. This can help dogs learn to spend less time feeling anxious and more time being curious and happy. This approach might not work for every dog. Some dogs might not feel comfortable in an environment like the wilderness, so try to find a place where your dog can feel better about themselves. 3. Take up agility training. Agility training usually involves teaching your dog certain tasks then completing those tasks in a specific order. Your dog might be learning new skills, but this really is a trust exercise. You start doing these things in a gentle, appropriate way so the dog is beginning to learn to take cues from their human and trust them more. The dog learns that, I just have to listen to my person, do what that they told me, and it's awesome. 4. Don't forget obedience training. Teaching your dog skills, like how to sit, lay down or come, can be beneficial for two primary reasons when it comes to confidence building. Obedience training is helpful because it allows you to develop a language with your dog, which helps you guide your dog to successful behaviors. Once you've developed this language, through both commands and body language, you can work on directing your dog's behavior to something more appropriate when they are feeling fearful. 5. Introduce new situations and people slowly. If the dog warms to things slowly, always take time introducing something new, especially new settings, people, and other dogs. 6. 
try allowing your dog to be around another dog. For some dogs, spending time with another dog can help boost confidence. Dogs who are open to these types of interactions will see appropriate behavior modeled for them and think. However, this approach only works with certain dogs, and its success will largely depend on your dog's personality as well as the dog they're introduced to. The best way to ensure your dog feels confident? Start when they're a puppy. When your puppy is 8 to 10 weeks old, expose them to all of the experiences that are going to be a normal part of their everyday life, including other people, dogs, children, street noises and a variety of different surfaces to walk on. And if you have an older pooch, remember to be patient as you work on building confidence. In dogs, the old cliché, that practice makes perfect, is true. We hope these techniques will help your dog become more confident. But before modifying your dog's behavior, keep in mind that these confidence boosters will only work if your dog is only slightly fearful or shy. Depending on the severity of your dog's fear, seeking professional help might be your best bet. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.